All right, time to build the hot end. Now that I have a completed heat core, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the hot end. And this is the insulator. This is a peak barrel. And this is the nozzle. Of course, this is the heat core, and these are some pieces of insulation. So the first thing I need to do is screw on a couple of these nuts that came with the kit. And I'm going to put them right next to each other. And I'm going to need a couple pair of pliers here. because I want to get these two tight against each other so they're not going to move anywhere. All right, so I've got them tied up. There are two ends here that are turned down and one end is longer than the other. I think this is the long end and this is the short end. The short end is the one that goes into the nozzle. So I'm going to screw on the nozzle. Screw it on there all the way. Get it finger tight. Okay, make sure the nuts are tight. And I'm going to grab on with the pliers on the outer nut there. 7 16 inch uh, socket wrench. And I'm going to tighten it on one quarter turn. So I'm going to Try to find a good spot here. All right, I've got a good spot sort of lined up here. So I need to go one quarter turn. All right, I think that's probably good. And then I can take off the two nuts. Okay, so I'm going to loosen, loosen one of the nuts there, and then take it off. No sweat. Okay. I'm going to put on the heat core, the wires up, away from the nozzle. Screw that on. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a bit of a tweak with the socket wrench because I want to make sure that is tight. Now I'm not going to over tighten it. I don't want to upset the ceramic. I don't want to break anything. And it looks like it's on all the way with all the way here. Um, I had it sanded smooth anyway, so. I can be pretty sure that's right up against the nozzle. Okay. So next I need to screw on the insulator. I'm going to make sure that's on there good too. about like so. Take a screw driver, a little screwdriver, and make sure I'm good to go there. And I don't feel anything wrong with that, so wire. I don't feel anything uh, 
there's no gaps, and I can go all the way down to the nozzle without any obstructions. So I think that's good. So now I have my thermistor, and I have my hot end. It's time to attach the thermistor to the nozzle, because this is what he wants to keep track of the temperature. So it needs to be right up against the, right up against the nozzle. That's what the captain tape is for. Get that right on there tight. Good luck finding the edge of the captain tape. There it is. Okay. Start here. It's not very sticky, I tell you. Trying to center this on the nozzle and uh, trying to do it a little bit tight because. It's real important that uh, sensor makes a good contact with the metal. All right, so there we are. Captain's a little bit like uh, saran wrap. Likes to stick saran wrap. Captain likes to stick to Captain. All right, I think I've got five turns on there. I, think I got at least that. So I should be good to go. Looking pretty. Now I can put on a small piece of insulation. I don't know if this is uh, authorized or recommended, but what the heck. Yeah, see, probably not a good idea. Yeah, if you keep working, it'll eventually go on. Okay, then the larger piece of insulation goes up over that. up over the heat core. And up onto tube insulator. So I'm going to sort of pat that down and 
what do you know? It looks like I have a complete hot end. All right, so I got this little sucker finished. Caused me a little bit of trouble, took a couple days. But hey, I have a hot end. And because I was successful at that, I get my little treat. I get my reward. Mm. Yay me. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.